Hello friends, welcome back to our series Math for Machine Learning and in today's topic we are going to discuss about orthogonality and hyperplane. Often they are very confused terms, <laughs> but we will see it is actually not, it is they are very rather interesting and gives us a lot of meaningful uh, information about our data. Okay. So, in our uh, <coughs> last video, uh, we have calculated the dot products of two vectors P and W for example, and today we are going to see three different cases. What if the dot product is equal to 0, what if it is greater than 0 and what if it is less than 0, what does it mean in the uh, in the real life, right. Okay. So, for example, um, if I consider the first one dot product of two vectors is, is equal to 0. Uh, we know from our previous lecture is that it means that the length of vector v times the length of vector w, I call it length, somebody would call it norm and cos of the angle between them is, is equal to 0. Now, here let us assume the length of the vector v is not equal to not equal to 0 and also for w it is not equal to 0. So, what we are left with is that um, cos of theta then this is equal to 0. Okay. So, that means if I represent these two vectors v and w in some space then the angle between them if, if I take the cos of angle between them then it is 0. From trigonometry we know that this is nothing but cos of 90 degree right is equal to 0 that means therefore theta is equal to 90 degree right okay so and also if i represent this um, say for example if i have a vector like this which is say v then the two vectors are orthogonal if my other vector lies in this line which is 90 degree. So, any vector which is 90 degree to this. So, this is 90. So, that means the angle between these two vectors there can be another vector like this, another vector like this. They are all orthogonal to this vector v. Now, this could be w, this could be x, this could be y, this could be k any any vectors which is making an angle of 90 degree with v then those vectors are orthogonal okay so i have two vectors and they are perpendicular to each other but uh, what does it mean in the world of machine learning that is more important for us to understand and so we'll take one simple example okay so imagine i have one vector like this and let us consider the problem of titanic survivor and this is age and this vector represents age which is similar to our vector v okay. and I have another vector so which is just perpendicular to this one geometrically and this is 90 degree and so this is uh, the ticket price or the fare of the ticket in the titanic ship. Okay. I will just put it as ticket price could be fair. Okay. Now, what they mean basically is that this vector, this vector in this side which could be our w, this vector is varying independently of this vector. They both could have some influence on our the final uh, target value which is survivor. So, W can have some impact on survivor, H can have some impact on survivor, but if I consider them separately, if I consider the vector age separately and ticket fare separately, I am saying that age is varying independently of this particular column. And in machine learning, we actually look for such columns because say if I had another vector which would be something like this, right. In that case, and say uh, let us assume this is age and this is like whether that person is married or not, right. This would have some correlation, right, and basically it will not give us uh, anything additional information about the data. 
it is ex exactly similar to saying that you know if I have one vector like this and if I am predicting the price of a uh, taxi cab then if this is distance is in kilometer say so this vector is representing distance in kilometer then I will have another vector right which will represent distance in miles. So, they will have they will basically be a single line. So, that means it is not giving me anything additional information it is rather a scalar multiplication of kilometer with 1.6. So, hope this gives you a clear picture and say so this one is say traffic right. So, that means this data is independent of this one or varying independently. Hope this clears the concept of orthogonality uh, among vectors. Okay. So, in summary uh, while doing machine learning we basically want to understand how different features are explaining the variance in the data and this uh, angle between two vectors helps us understand that. Later on we will see how this fact this dot product and the angle between them angle between the vectors helps us determine which columns should we keep or which one should we remove that kind of idea also will be prevalent all right so in our next video we'll take the hyperplane again the concept will start from the dot product uh, and, and 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 we'll see what that hyperplane means till then have a great day and i hope you have learned something new today